I'm Danny S. Foree, something for everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you what I did to my pickups uh, over the last year to help me get a better bite. And uh, it's just a trick that I want to show you guys, and uh, maybe you can tweak it, do something with it, make it your own. But uh, today I'm going to take uh, kicks, corn pops, those are my pickup choices. And I'm going to show you exactly how I like to do it. But before I do that, I want to thank everyone who's shown me support. Everyone who rode out with me last year and all the fishing, we did pretty good. Uh, this year, i got a lot of things coming up. Got the trot lines, got the limb hooks. I'm always going to do that. Going to get out in the john boat, catfish, brim fish, bass fish, carp fish. I'm going to do it all. And I just want to say thanks for riding with me. Okay, so let's get to it. First, I've got a smaller bowl. And uh, I'm going to use my corn pops. So I'm just going to reach in, get some, put them in a bowl. That should be enough. Get the corn pops in a bowl, dry corn pops bowl. I've got R and W carp juice. This today we're gonna go with uh, lime. I'm gonna use lime on this one here. I put it into a spray bottle. Poured my lime flavor or whatever flavor you want to use. I poured into a spray bottle. Now I got this spray bottle for like a dollar at Walmart. Uh, as you can see, I've got a few of them back here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray down my corn pops with my flavor now i'm gonna get them kind of wet but i'm not gonna drench them i'm gonna leave some dry spots in it and i'll give you a close-up on what we're looking for here so spray some flavor in i'm just gonna shake them around Spray some more flavor in, try to hit the corn pops, try to get them. Now remember, we're not going to drench them. We are going to get them more than just wet. But like I said, you still want to see some dry spots in them. Get the flavor on them real good. I've got my line pickups, kind of, kind of wet, kind of soppy, you know. All right. And that's what we're looking for just so that they're coated with flavor now as you can see I can still see dry spots on them and that's what I'm looking for like I said I don't want to get them too wet all right now that I've got them all soaked down like this quick grits uh, you can uh, buy whatever quick grits you want to buy no uh and this is what i mean by tweaking it i'm gonna take my quick grits and pour them in to this bucket here got my quick grits in just plain quick grits i've got my flavored down corn pops and you can use whatever pickups you want to use. And I'm just going to put them in the quick grits. There you go. Now I'm going to shake these around. That's what they look like right here. Now I'm going to shake these around. And make sure that they're all coated with grits. And this is what I mean by tweaking. You can probably uh, try different things other than quick grits. You could probably try brown sugar. You could probably uh, crush up fruity pebbles and have that as your grits. Whatever you may come up with. But this is what I've done last year to uh, win over at Red's tournament and all. And uh, this is how I just uh, and I make one or two or three or four flavors of this. So uh, depending on what I want to take to the lake, what I feel confident. In uh, on that night, but I always have an arsenal 
of uh, both of these uh, in, in, in numerous of flavors. So uh, yeah, let's go. Shake these around. The quick grits are gonna help dry out that flavoring that you just put on. All right. Make sure they're shooking real well. Okay, now look. Now look at my pickups. There they are in the bowl, covered with grits, flavor, whatever flavor I decide. All right, now that we've got them coated, got my Ziploc and these are some pickups that I'll take uh, depending on what lake I want to go to whether I'm uh, wild water or, or tournament fishing uh, but yeah now I've got them coated with grits and these are ready to throw Since I've uh, made them like this, I just don't pick up anything else. I always make my pickups before I go out. It's either gonna be a flavor and quick grits. Uh, I'm always gonna take plain with me, just in case they're not pulling. This is just another, some more ammunition to your arsenal. Now, now that I've got them in this bag, this is what I do. You see they're in there. This is what I do. I always put the quick grits in the bag. Just as, just as, as much as uh, pickups I got in there, that's how much grits I'm going to have in there. Just so that it, when I roll it up, the grits are still drying up the flavor and uh, still coating. Get all the air out, just like this. Boom, there you have it. I can label these as what they are. Obviously these are lime, you can tell that. But uh, yeah, I always keep my grits in there. Right along with the pickups. And, uh, and that's it. That's how that works. Well, I hope this helps you. And I uh, hope you uh, catch uh, plenty of fish. And uh, thank you so much for all the support. Thanks for watching.